Good morning, everyone. Adam here, Kenyon Classic Cars, Clarence, Iowa. This morning, I'm going to show you this beautiful 1979 Pontiac Trans Am. Now, this car isn't your average 79 Pontiac Trans Am. This car is a W72 Pontiac Trans Am, and they only made around 2,000 of these cars. Now, this car is special because most of these Trans Ams, these 79 Trans Ams you see, came equipped with a 403 Oldsmobile engine. That is not the case with the W72s. The W72s came equipped with a 400 Pontiac engine and a four-speed manual transmission. You couldn't even get a four-speed manual transmission if the car was not a W72. So this car has everything that you want. It has W72, has a 400 Pontiac engine, has four-speed manual transmission in it. Car has T-tops in it. Um, has T-tops in it, it's dark blue in color, tan interior. Door panels in this car are in really good shape. The whole interior of this car looks amazing. And this car has a really kind of fun, unique story to it. This car was purchased brand new by the gentleman who traded this car in, he was from Louisiana, and he traded this car in yesterday, and his best friend from high school bought this car, he ordered this car brand new, and he ended up purchasing this, purchasing this car a few years ago from his best friend. And so this car is only a two owner car. This gentleman has known the history of this car and has known this car since it was brand new. And, like I say, it, it's hard to find these W72 Trans Ams. Um, they're the, probably the most desirable 79 Trans Am of all of them. It does have the uh, honeycomb snowflake wheels with uh, BF Goodrich Radio TA raised white letter tires. They're two, 225 70 15s on the back. Car. Looks and sounds very, very nice. There's the, uh, in the trunk area. You can see your jams are in good shape. Your seals are in good shape. Um, your T-top covers are there. Your spare tire with your uh, inflator bottle there. And your jack, your jack tools are all in place. Your trunk light even works. Now, this car has a lot of the original paint still on the car. Um, it has been touched up in a few spots, but I would call it mostly original paint. I didn't take a paint meter to the car. I'm just going by what I see on it. Um, super solid car. Looks great underneath. Uh, interior appears to be all original inside as well. T-tops are in good shape. You can see your, your door panel on this side is in good shape too. You can see your door. Your door seals here are good. You can see all these rivets down your door. You can see the bottoms of your door. You can see how solid that is. Is this car perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it is very, very nice. And we're not gonna price this car at $65,000 like they've been bringing at all these auctions. We're gonna price this car right down on the money. It's gonna be priced in the high 40s probably. You can see the headliner's in good shape. It does have it does have T-top covers. You can see the T-top covers up there that helps you so the sun don't beat down on top of your head all day long. This car has power steering, power brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, um, and has factory air conditioning in it. As I walk around the car, I will show you down here on the bottom, it does have a few rock chips down here. You can see a couple small rock chips there. I mean, that's what I'm telling you, that it's, it's, it's not perfect. It's very, very nice, very nice quality driver car. Um, I don't know if you're going to find a car any more solid than this car is. There's your underneath your hood. The engine is, has been all rebuilt. Um, the 400 engine, uh, the, the gentleman estimated this car probably has around 400 horsepower. Um, he didn't dyno it or anything, but that's just what he thought. It, like I say, it has power steering, it has power brakes, um, has factory air conditioning, but it does have an upgraded air conditioning compressor on it now, so that's a good thing. 
does have the snorkel um, rear mirror hood on it. Edelbrock aluminum intake on it. And I'll have to look and see what carburetor's on that. It looks like it re retains the original quarter jet carburetor on it, which I have no problem with quarter jet carburetors. They're always good carburetors, but the underneath the hood is, is nicely detailed. Um, it looks good underneath there. Checking out that body tag there. Still got the uh, Louisiana Louisiana sticker in the front windshield there, so you, you know it came from Louisiana. Tires on this thing are like brand new. Does have the BF Nourish tires on it. I'm gonna fire the car up so you can hear it run. It has not been started yet today. I brought this car in here last night. Your dash lights work inside the car here. Um, all your dome lights work. Your power windows, they both go up and down. Look us up on our website, KenyanAuto.com. 